So this is the first in probably many videos I'm going to do on this lighting desk. It is a 088, mine's branded Varilite. I've seen some branded Strand. I'm not au fait with the company history or if they've merged or anything, but it's the FLX S24. Now you could say FLEX or you could say FLX. Some acronyms you can read out, some like USB, you always say USB, you don't say USB. But this one, I think you can do FLX or Flex. I'm going to say FLX. S24. So it's 24 faders, 48 fixtures. I'm not going to say channels anymore. I'm going to say fixtures because this works as a fixture. The modern DMX desks work more as fixtures rather than channels. A fixture can just be a single channel dimmer or it could be a moving head or a baton or something that takes multiple channels. So I've got two moving heads little moving heads from ebay and i've got two spectra picks battens which take 24 channels each but i've put them on a fader each so i haven't had to eat up 24 faders i do all the controls on the screen but they're taking up two faders so you can have 48 fixtures because you've got a bank of 1 to 24 and 25 to 48 but they can take up multiple dmx channels each Patching a fixture is really, really easy. You just go into the setup, you go into add fixtures, and I'm just gonna add a simple dimmer. So generic dimmer, one channel, or 16 bit two channel, if you want, if you've got 16 bit dimmers that take up two DMX channels, you press next, you press however, however many you want, the fixture number, which is whichever fader you're gonna set that onto, and the DMX address. And this has two universes, so you can swap to the second universe if you want. And then you finish, and then your dimmer channels are patched. So I've just patched 12 box standard single channel dimmers to outputs one to 12. And then my stage wash moving lights are on 13, 14, then 19, 20. So as I experiment, I can say, well, this bank is for moving heads. This bank is for battens and these are all for dimmers, but that's just my choice. I've got some RGB pars as well that I can add on to some faders down here. So that's very straightforward, a quick overview, how you patch, play around, understand the difference between like a, a dimmer channel and a fixture. The early desks like the first early jesters and the 088 jugglers were just one fader per channel, that's how it was. So that was channel one, that was channel six, that's it. But this, you can patch these however you like. And then you've got playbacks as well. So you can do the playbacks are essentially like your submasters, but you can actually have cue stacks on all these playbacks. We'll get into that as I do more and get onto more videos with this desk. So for example, like the baton, I can turn that baton up and then I can go into my color picker. I can choose the color of that baton. And then if I go into the effects, I can have a chaser effect and that will chase across the baton. So as I generally use it, it'll just be red, green or blue, the whole baton, but I've got that into 24 channel mode which means I can select each segment of the baton and I can do that using the effects and do it through the desk rather than having to program it all in and type in that myself. And obviously the colors you do on the color wheels. So you've got 24 channels essentially controlled by each of the faders. So it's taking up two channels on my fader bank so these aren't channels these are fixtures if that makes sense but it's taking up 24 channels 48 channels of dmx for the two buttons the two buttons are up there on the roof so i can experiment with them the thing that annoys me a little bit about this desk is it should be highest takes priority like most lighting desks but when that works when you put it into a playback so for example i'm just going to put these three up and I'm going to record that into that playback. So when I go to that playback, that one will control those three channels. But if I do that again, I put the same three channels. So record onto that playback. And I bring that one up. And then if I bring that one, the left hand one up, it will be the highest takes priority. So that one will do nothing now because it's at 100. But if I bring that down, that one will 
continue, which is expected behavior. But if I just do the channels, that doesn't work because it goes red. If I put that to 63 and then go to the playback, that playback will have to go above. That playback doesn't affect that channel until I clear, double tap clear, and then that playback will affect the channel. And if I go back to the channels again now, and I do channel three, for instance, it will take over, but then the playback won't alter that channel until I press clear. So the channels kind of defaults to a program mode rather than an operating mode. I might be doing that wrong. Please tell me if I'm not, if I am. And please tell me if that is possible that you can have the channels to directly control the HTP. Or you have to keep double tapping the clear and set up your playbacks, playback submasters to be able to do that. I'm going to clear that one now. I'm going to delete both of them, so delete that, yes. Then I'm back to my channels. So yeah, I'll talk more in future videos about specific elements like programming playbacks, programming queue stacks, programming chasers. Everything will be done as individual videos, but this is an overview for now.